purpose today to learn how FDR used the government and called on citizens to get America out of the Great Depression. Anybody have any questions on that part of the purpose? So kind of like a two-parter there, how FDR used the government and called on the citizens, like all of us, to get us out of the Great Depression. Language purpose, we're going to be throwing this around, interdependence, how we are dependent upon each other. And then finally, socially, that's why we're all sitting in uh, groups of four today, our social purpose. You'll be working as a table group to discuss and interpret um, FDR's 1933 inaugural speech. The way we'll be doing this, tackling this purpose, is a close reading. We're going to be looking at, again, FDR's speech, inaugural speech from 1933. We know what an inauguration is. It's like the first day you're president, you're sworn in. It's a big celebration. So we're gonna be looking at the speech that FDR gave to the, to the citizens. And I'm trying to put myself in that place where people are going through the Great Depression. They're worried about losing their house, worried about their next meal, worried about whether or not they're going to be able to find another job and what he says to the American people. So that's what we're going to be looking at today. With your pen or pencil, when you're reading FDR's speech, underline major points using pen or pencil. So one of my questions for you is going to be, what was FDR's message? What was he saying to the American people? If you feel like you found that in the speech on one of your reads, underline where he makes major points, okay? Um, now we're gonna go to the pink or orange highlighter. Circle key words or phrases um, in pink or orange, whichever one you get. And then off to the margin, you can say, what's confusing about it? Or do you just need the definition? You can do that. With the yellow marker, use it to make a question mark. If something's confusing, highlight that line or two, and then off to the margin, write why is it confusing. You know, what is he talking about? What is FDR referring to? You can write yourself a note to that. And then finally, if something surprises you, kind of throws you off or something, you can use an exclamation mark to annotate the speech. You may or may not annotate on this first uh, read, it's up to you, whichever is more comfortable, but I just wanted to show this what one of your classmates did. You can see that she's got some underlining, some highlighting of words, and then in the margin, she definitely used that margin to write notes to herself. There's like some bullet points, she's got some brackets. So this is what your paper might look like toward the end of our reading when you have all the annotation notes. Look. In less than five sentences, state FDR's message. What'd you say what his message was? I said um, he reassures his audience of the truth on what is going on and he lets them know that he's aware of what they expect from him and he wants to move forward with his people. He wants to move forward with his people? Okay, what'd you say, Decca? Um, that, that he has a promise and he will, uh, he has a plan and, um, and he will do all his power to fix this problem. Okay. He has a plan. I like that. Where in the text did you find that? Where in the speech did you find he has a plan? Um, maybe, maybe if you had to find the number, how we number this, what number would you say you found that, Deca? Uh, number one. Number one? Okay, what parts does he say? As you listen to this second read, consider this question. What specifically does FDR tell Americans what the government will do to help them through the Great Depression. After we've just finished the second read, I wanna remind you really quickly of the purpose of today. It's right here. To learn how FDR used the government to get America out of the Great Depression. It's two parts, but on this first part, to learn how we use the government, that's what this first question, which I wanted you guys to discuss after your second read, has to deal with. What specifically does FDR tell Americans the government will do to help them get through the Great Depression. So in just a moment, speak at your table, see what you found after your second read. Remember, when you talk to each other, use the evidence from the text, from the speech, 
Where did you find the evidence to support the claims that you're making at your table? We just had a question. Yes, sir. Because we're not really sure what relief activities are. Excellent. Okay, I wanted to discuss that with you guys. And we'll, we'll get to that. Was that the last thing that you put on your list? Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. What was the first thing? <clears throat> um, raising the values of agricultural products. Mm -hmm. And what was the second thing? Preventing the foreclosure of our small homes and farms. And then the last part is? Unifying of relief activities. Okay, during the Great Depression, what was some of the relief people, what is relief, by the way? If you give someone relief. Like taking some of the stress and taking some of the things off of their plate. Like taking some off their plate. Beautiful. So if we use that example, what did people have on their plate or what were they stressed out about during the Great Depression? The stock market. The stock market, money, good. Jobs, thank you, Karina. Food. 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 What were you saying, Raina? Not eating. Yeah, not eating. Yeah. Like, like the kitchen. Exactly. That, that's a relief activity. Yeah. So read that last line again, Jawan, when he talks about the relief activities. It can be helped by the unifying of relief activities, which today are often scattered, uneconomical, and unequal. Mm -hmm. So what does FDR want to do with the relief activities? He wants to... Bring it all together for everyone to... Unify you know. it. Because how does he describe what's wrong with them now? They're scattered all over the place and it's not really organized. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how, how could the government do that? What would be the government's role in unifying relief activities? What could they do? Well. How it's saying like they're unequal, they can make them all equal, like maybe this side gets it better than this side, maybe make it so they both get the same amount of, you know, of help. Good. How does he describe the policy of the good neighbor? What is a good neighbor? What is a good neighbor supposed to do? Ready? Go, third readers. Go ahead, third readers. And what does a good neighbor do? Well, according to FDR, what did you get, Monique, out of this? Um, he said, the na a good neighbor is a neighbor who resolutely respects himself and because he does so, respects the right of others. So I think he's saying that he has respect for himself, but he also has respect for others. Good. And more importantly, why is that like key in something like the Great Depression? Why do you have to be a good neighbor? To work together? Okay, good. Because in these times, if you can't just do stuff on your own, because then you're not going to accomplish anything as a whole. Good. Okay. Um, if you read on, read on to number seven and find out what he says, like what is the common discipline? What is the good neighbor? It's basically stating the golden rule. Okay. Like if you respect yourself, you respect everyone else. Okay. So if you're being a good neighbor, you're going to respect like their property, and you're going to respect your property too because you don't want them to get hurt and you don't want to get hurt. Nice. Where did you you wrote that down too, Betty? Where did you guys get this golden rule? Paragraph six. After reading it, you know, one, two, and three times now, what is FDR's message um, for his inaugural speech in 1933? Angela, what do you got? I think it's, he like begins by stating the problem or the current situation, and then he goes on by like saying how the government can help by raising crop prices and preventing foreclosure and unifying relief activities. And then he closes it with saying we must act like as an army. Like okay. To unify to fix it. Good. All right. Excellent. I think you guys got it. Looking back at the purpose, take a look at this. So that's what we got out of our close read. He said specifically what the government can do. And then he says, hey, what's our role as citizens? Talked a lot about interdependence too. All right, cool. So tomorrow we'll look more specifically at what FDR did uh, with his government programs to help get us out of the Great Depression. All right, good job, guys. Excellent. Top it up, second period.